Hello everybody, Dr. Jeff here with a uh, special video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Uh, Champion DJK celebrated his 200th episode yesterday. And this is kind of a, an homage to him because I know he loves Porsche. So uh, this is a uh, collection of small scale die cast of the history of Porsche Motorsport. I'm trying to tell a story here through small scale die cast. Those of you who understand uh, die cast know it's not difficult to, uh, or it actually is difficult to put together a collection of small scale die cast. Uh, there are great collections on YouTube of Porsche Motorsport uh, in the larger scales, 143rd, 124, particularly uh, Jordan Bomber up in Toronto, Canada has a magnificent collection. So this is my attempt at putting together a uh, Porsche Motorsport uh, collection to tell a history. And we start off right here uh, with the 550 and we go into the 356. Um, and in the small scale, uh, there is a gap here of about uh, between this vehicle and this vehicle is probably about nine years. And there are uh, other vehicles that are just not available at small scale. And of course, I define small scale as any scale of die cast smaller than 143rd scale. So this collection in front of us is made up of probably four or five different scales. I'm thinking from true 164th, probably up to 155th. Um, and it comprises many different uh, brands and manufacturers of die cast and uh, different uh, eras of die cast. We have some die cast here, for instance, these two cars are, uh, I believe, from the 1970s or 1980s. So we want to get in it. So between these two cars, the 550 and the 356, and I'm just going to come down here, there are Examples of cars like the 550 RSK 718 and the 718 RS Spider that I don't know if they're available or not in small scale. Uh, if Champion DJ sees this and you know of any other um, small scale die cast, let me know. So I'm going to take you through this collection like that. Um, there is a 904. And then we go into our 906 Carrera 6 and a couple more Carrera 6s, different manufacturers here. Um, and uh, 907. And I'm not actually sure what this particular model is. Uh, I really like it for the engine detail. I'm thinking it's uh, in that range, 90 six or so. Coming down here, uh, your Matchbox 910, another 910, and then we get into that kind of prototypical uh, Porsche 917, um, and then of course the famous 1970 Le Mans winner. There's the uh, Porsche 917, and some other examples. Uh, from a tail hot wheel of 917s. And then we get into these two really funky uh, die cast models. And these are probably 917-10s, uh, I believe. These are the Can-Am uh, Porsches. And uh, you just have to look, you really have to seek out. These look like it's the same casting they're probably similar but they are not identical the rear is different coming down here an example of a 914 and then um, the recent mainline 917s um, this is one that i really really think is quite special i didn't appreciate how special it was when i got it but now i appreciate it it's a Tomica pocket car, and that's the Can-Am, uh, also 917 dash, I'm thinking 30, I apologize, I'm not uh, up to date on all the numbers um, for this particular video. Uh, 936, 
that's a beautiful model right there. Um, this is also a 936 from uh, a different manufacturer, quite old. Sorry for jumping around. Then we get into our 935s, our Hot Wheel. And uh, I think this is a special Hot Wheel right there. I think that was only available in Canada. Those are 935s, uh, 956, I believe. And here's the Rothman, the Le Mans winner. I think 956 or 962s in other examples of Hot Wheel product coming down. Uh, your 911 GT. That one Le Mans, a couple examples there. And then we, we jump uh, to modern times. Uh, there's your 919. And again, these are all small scale all small scale I really like these and there's your uh, your 718 spider the uh, sorry 9 918 spider and that was uh, put together my daughter and John Lambert and he sent it to me to Jeff isn't collecting rad that was really nice of my daughter and John to do so and I snuck in this particular model, which is a basic mainline 934.5 Porsche. And uh, on a personal note, it's probably one of my favorite uh, models and all for 94 cents. So sometimes the model doesn't have to be real expensive. There's a rally car, a couple other these are really neat models. Again, different makes and models. And there's Magnus Walker 277. And then we come up here and we see again the 50th anniversary of Porsche and we have our 550 and our 930. And of course, uh, the iconic Gulf livery 917. I'm looking forward to uh, Hot Wheels coming out with the uh, 959 rally car and I'd like to pick up the other 356 that's currently out now the yellow with the 81 uh, kind of neat and then um, as a side note we just saw this online and um, uh, I guess this is just a mock-up I'm not sure if this is going to exist but boy that would be really cool to have that that transporter. So that's my collection here of Porsche. And uh, it's Sunday today, uh, the day after Champion DJK's 200th episode. And this is kind of uh, uh, dedicated to him because I know he loves Porsche. And I always wanted to get his feedback on what he thinks of this collection. And more importantly, if he knows of other small scale die casts that can be added to this. So this is my track this is a uh, Porsche Motorsport on the track and over here is a collection of the Porsche Street and that's a pretty cool one starting off that collection with the 911 GT1 Street version but we're gonna leave that for another time so that's about it